Um, I want to thank Harvey Keenan, who is the, really the person who puts all this together, who engages the program, invites our vets. And I want to ask Harvey if he'll play, um, if you'll come up here for a second. It is our privilege to welcome all the vets, and we have time this morning, so I'm going to send Harvey through the synagogue. If you're a vet and you see Harvey coming up the aisle, I want you to stand up. Harvey will pass this microphone to you. Tell us who you are, when you served, and where you served, okay? Don't give us the whole story of your life. That will be next year. But just tell us who you are, where you served, and when you served. You want to start with, yeah, uh, I want to start with Art? You, you want to start with Art? Go ahead. With Art. Art Sherman. Art, can you hear me? Everybody hear me? Okay. This is Captain Art Sherman. All I can say, can you hear me? Okay. I valued the women during the war because the nurses and some of the women I served with did a great job. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, okay. All right. I was a captain in the Army Air Force, and I served in Italy, 15th Air Force, uh, 40, uh, 4640 uh, Squadron. And uh, after I was wounded, I became a staff officer with General Lawrence, who served under General Twining. And uh, uh, after combat, I was able to understand what was going on, although I didn't agree with all the decisions they made. We won the war, and that was the most important thing, because I have trouble speaking English. I never could speak German. Thank you, Art. Uh, will you raise your hand if you're a vet so I can come over? Please? Okay. Please stand up if you're a vet. Please stand up and tell us when you served and what branch of the service you were. I'm Milton Kaplan. I served uh, as a major in the Army, and uh, I was Assistant Chief of Dermatology at Walter Reed Army Medical Center during the Vietnam War. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. My buddy Ron Lever. I'm Captain Ron Lever. I served in 1960, and as a side uh, issue, I was in charge of a MASH unit. In case anything broke out any place in the world, they would have sent me with an airplane to be on the front line doing surgery. Thank you. My name is Max Barshushat. I was born in Casablanca. I served in the Israeli Army in 1948 in the War of Independence. Thank you. My name is Phil Yankovsky. Uh, I was declared a 4F after going through my pre-induction uh, uh, physical. However, the Israeli Army took me, and I was in the 6th Corps. I'm Rabbi Onel Stiebel, but I wasn't a rabbi in Vietnam in 1967. I was a combat medic. Dr. Braun. Captain, Medical Corps, U.S. Emory Hospital, Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, 1956 to 1958. If, if you served in the Israeli Army, please acknowledge that, too, and stand up, please. Oscar Stein, Sergeant Oscar Stein. Served from 40, 1943 to 1945 from Normandy to Czechoslovakia, which was our last stop going through France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, and back home. Thank you. Captain Marvin Cantor, I was in the U.S. Army Medical Corps at Fort Hood, Texas. I'm Buzzy Bookman. I was a first lieutenant, 101st Airborne Division in 1969-1970 in Vietnam. I was the assistant order battle officer. 
just want to add how happy I am to see Scott Howard here today. Me too. I'm number two, you're number one. Uh, 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 sergeant in the Israeli Air Force, 1959 to 1961, and a reserve in the Sinai campaign, and the uh, uh, Six Day War. So. Ami Gilboa, um, Israeli Army from uh, 1970 till 1973, plus extra seven months for the Yom Kippur War, and we're here. Bob Donovan, United States Air Force from 1966 to 1970. I served overseas in Vietnam, actually it was Laos, from 1968 until 1970 with 56 special operations. Stan Salmore, World War II, Second Lieutenant, B-24 Bombardier. Jack, he's, Jack Rappaport, he served in the Korean War in the 50s. Sidney Orell, I served in Germany. 12th Infantry Regiment, 4th Infantry Division, 1953-1955. My name is Art Magat. I served in South Korea from 1960 to 1963. 727 Military Police Battalion. Lieutenant Steve Glick, I've served on active duty from 1953 to 1955 during the Korean conflict. Oh, I'm sorry. Hillel Schechter, I served from 70 to 74 in the Israeli army. Yes. Aliza Schechter Harash served in the Israeli army including the Six-Day War, was a sergeant for the Chief Rabbi of the Israeli Armed Forces. This is Chuck Schwartz. He's the commander of Post 603 Jewish War Veterans. Hi, nice to see you today. I was uh, in the uh, Navy 56 to 61 aboard the USS the Sullivans. DD-537. We went to France, we went to Spain, we went to uh, Israel, we went all around Africa. And I was very, very proud and still am very proud to be a member of the United States Navy USA. <laughs> My buddy Henry Bollinger. Henry Bollinger, I'm uh, proud to have served during the Korean War and uh, did not get into any dangerous situation. Marty Schwartz, Army Sergeant. I was a JFK Special Warfare Center, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, attached to the 5th Special Forces. Uh, Private Malcolm Dipperstein served in the 17th Division, in the 7th Division, in the, in, in the infantry in Korea. Thank you. My name is Mark Thurston. I was a combat paratrooper and ranger. I fought with the 173rd Airborne Brigade and the 75th Airborne Rangers in 67, 68. It's hard to believe it's been 50 years. I'm also a, um, a post commander in the Jewish War Veterans and I'm a licensed veteran service officer. So there are those of you that I help with disability and pension issues, it's my honor to volunteer. Thank you. Hi, my name is Larry Celestia. I'm a member of VBS. I've served in the U.S. Army Corps of Military Police, 1942-1946. I served in England, 
France, Belgium, and Germany. Thank you. My name is Anthony Hernandez, Corporal United States Marine Corps. I served from 98 to 06 uh, as an ordinance man in support of 3rd Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your service. Uh, my name is Bob Stiles. I'm a proud member of Wings Over Wendy's. I was Airman First Class as an air traffic controller on a B-52 base serving under General Curtis LeMay from 1955 to 59. My name is Lee Auger. I, I served from 1948 to 1952. During the Korean War, I was in Port Leote, Prince Morocco, in a transport squadron. Good morning. My name is Steve Adams. I was a medic in the U.S. Air Force at Randolph Air Force Base, Texas, 1984 to 1988. I was a first lieutenant in the Army Nurse Corps, Fort Snelling, Minnesota, 2002 to 2005. Proud husband of your guest speaker, Rebecca. Hi, my name is Joel Markowitz. I served in the U.S. Army 57 to 59. Of that two years, 15 months was served over in southern France during the Cold War. And one addition, in 61 I received a registered, registered letter from John F. Kennedy ordering me back to active duty where I ended up at Fort Lewis, Washington, 61 to 62. My name is Leon Silverman. I served in the U.S. Navy in 45 and 46. And then in 1948, I was in the Israeli Air Force for 48 to 49 during the War of Independence. Uh, this is Ed Reynolds, who is the new commander of Wings Over Wendy's. Yeah, thank you, uh, Harvey. Yeah, I served in the U.S. Air Force. Uh, first of all, I'm not a commander because I don't have any troops. I just, I just have a gathering. I'm, I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm a facilitator. <laughs> I served in the U.S. Air Force for 22 years in... Uh, Strategic Air Command and uh, Vietnam and the Pentagon. And uh, uh, since then, I uh, got into computers and I'm now out here. Uh, and Harvey looks good there in his Wings Over Wendy's hat. You know? <laughs> Thank you, Harvey. Dove, Dove Cone. I'm Chaplain Dove Cohen, served uh, during the Vietnam War, 62 to 66. I'm still serving my 55th year as a chaplain, except then I was Air Force, and now I am the chaplain of the USS Battleship Iowa, the SS Lane Victory. I'm the commander of the Tibor Rubin Jewish War Veteran Post, named for the only Holocaust survivor to receive the Medal of Honor, and we last year changed the name of the VA Medical Center in Long Beach to the Tibor Rubin VA Medical Center. My name is Maurice Portnoy. I was born in Argentina and we made my military service in 1949 in the Air Force, conscripted because I was a civilian pilot before. And uh, when I came to the States, I received a letter from the Selective Service that I either serve or leave the country because I was not a citizen. So I said, I'm serving. So, Nellis Air Base, training combat, Lieutenant Portnoy. Hello, I'm Esther Schifrin. I served in the Israeli Army during the Sinai campaign. I was in the Army for two years. Um, in the town major's office, I had two jobs. One, when in good times, I was in the entertainment course, singing with big band. And during the war, my job was to go and notify the parents of their children who had been injured or killed in battle. 
My name is Noni Lan. I'm a proud Marine, and uh, I was based with a reserve unit in New York in the 50s and then moved to California and was based with the 8th 105 millimeter howitzer battalion at Chavez Ravine. So I did spend part of my time sneaking out to go to the Dodger games. <laughs> My name is Jack Kaplan, and I enlisted and served from 1942 to 1946, World War II, on B-24 bombers as a crew chief and the aerial engineer. My name is uh, Richard Burns, and uh, I was an Army Air Force cadet, and and uh, war with Germany was over before I was called up, so I joined the Navy, and uh, the war w with Japan was over when I was in boot camp. So God had my back, but uh, please, Lord, ask me next time. Uh, I just, this, this is Esther Margolin. Ethel. Ethel Margolin. You're always correcting me. Right? You always could say it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, she is here. She's not feeling well. She came just to be here to tell her story. Well, thank you. That's a very nice introduction. <laughs> My name is Ethel Margolin, not what he said. And I'm a veteran of World War II the Women's Army Corps, 1943 to 1945, and I really represent the unsung heroes of the people who served in the States during the war. And I, don't know, I can give you a whole life's history, but that's enough. <laughs> Tell them you, you, you were a, a whack, right? Weren't you a whack? In the, in the, weren't you a whack? Women's Army Corps. Women's Army Corps. Okay. The Air Force. Air Force. It's correcting. Air Transport. Air Command. Transport. Command. Command. <laughs> My name is Abe Rosenzweig. I'm the lonely Coast Guard guy. With the, during World War II, it's under Navy. Well, I had a landing craft, and I took troops to the beachheads. But I want to say that uh, I, I got a medical discharge in '45. I was wounded. But I want to say that I respect all the women that were in the service but I cannot see myself taking the women in my landing craft to the beachheads. That's what happened. I was retired for Sergeant Christine White, who's in the Army, uh, 25th Infantry Division Band, 6th Army Band, Presidio, San Francisco, uh, the 91st in Sausalito, and Bell, California. Did 37 years. Very proud to be in the Army Band. I'm Joan Vitale. I, I was on active duty with the Marine Corps, 1944 to 1946. And once a Marine, always a Marine. Thank you, Joan. Warren Weinstein, First Lieutenant, United States Air Force, pilot on B-17s and B-29s in an air rescue outfit. Served from 1950 to 54 in the reserves from 54 to 62. My name is uh, Elmo Maiden, a uh, retired Lieutenant Colonel I was a pilot of B-24 Liberators during World War II in 1944, 1945. I, my crew of 10 are all gone. I'm the only survivor, so I've been the lucky Elmo, as they call me. I thank uh, God for taking me through 37 combat missions. And, uh, Uh, 
My name is Presiding Judge Don Foster. I'm a judge, I've retired from the Workers' Compensation Appeals Board of California, but that wasn't my military. I was glad to give back some of my time in the military. I, I learned to fly two months before Pearl Harbor. I trained as much as I could in every airplane that was available. Then I taught uh, Army cadets in a special program and taught Army personnel. And then, then I went into the Army myself through officers' training. And I served in the Air Transport Command Training Division, delivering airplanes all over North America, delivering transports in Northern Italy, uh, excuse me, North Africa and Italy and Tripoli. And then I became a PFC, poor, foolish civilian. My name is Lee Levitan. I served in the uh, Army Air Corps from 1942 to 1945. I was stationed in France during uh, flying combat missions out of France and flew 35 combat missions, dropping bombs mostly on Germany. And uh, just very proud to be here, very glad to be here amongst my good friends. Thank you. My name is Herb Rothner, longtime member of Valley Beth Shalom and a proud member of Yussi's Daily Minion. I also serve on the USS West Virginia. Thank God not the first time because it was sunk at Pearl Harbor and went back into action in 1944 and I was part of the second crew, and uh, I'm thank. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead, finish. Go ahead. I have no more to say. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sigalit Nehemia. I served as an operations officer in the Central War Room, 1984, 19. <laughs> Sorry, 90, yeah, 1984 to 1986, uh, first Lebanon War, towards the end, thank you. Medical Corps. My name is Dr. Arthur Starr. I was drafted during the Korean War. I served from 51 to 53. And I can only say it was one of the great experiences of my life, and I'm proud to be with all these great veterans and appreciate what they've done. Anybody else back here? Thank you, Harvey. Did we miss anybody? Okay, tell us what you did. What's your name? Norma Rosen, 1950. I spotted airplanes on a roof in New York City, and we were told how we're going to protect New York. Well, we could stop them from flying to California and save California. Thank you. Joan? Joan Ramon? Thank you, Harvey, and thank you, Rabbi. Uh, I'm not a veteran, but I'm a sixth generation American. I had a cousin that fought in the Civil War. I had an uncle, that, um, a cousin that fought in the First World War who died in the Battle of Bulger, I think. Which, and um, I had an uncle that served in the United States Air Force in 1942. And at the present, I have a cousin that is a retired admiral in the United States Navy, and his son, now Robert Katz, is an admiral. And so I'm very proud to be an American military family. Thank you, Jeff. My name is Lazar. My name is Lazar Saunders. I served in the Korean War in the U.S. Coast Guard was all over the Pacific and probably five or di six different types of ships from the destroyer escorts to the buoy tenders. Uh, and I, that's all I have to say. Do 
Yossi. George. First, I want to introduce Yossi. No, you go first, Yossi. Our own Yossi. My, my name is Yossi Dresner. I was sergeant major in the Israeli army as a paratrooper in 1956 who jumped behind, you know, the Egyptian line in the middle and cut them out. And that's how we conclude and finish the war. And that will be the end almost of Gamal Abdul Nasser with all his dream. Thank you. Hey, yes, sir. My name is George Wilkins. I served with the United States Army Band and Chorus in uh, Virginia, outside of Washington. We were with the Third Army. And uh, I was the arranger for the Army Band and Chorus, and some people say, well, he was an arranger <laughs> in the Army. I want to just say that this is just so amazing to see all you guys out there, and I thank you. Hi, my name is Chris Harden. Although I did not serve, my son is currently serving in Israeli Defense Force. We want to thank all of the veterans. I think for that's it. This Hang on, hang on. It's a wrap. Yeah. Uh, to, to welcome.